All right, good morning. It is Tuesday morning and the flea market is open. Sunny day. What time is it? About 7, seven maybe? Yeah, 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. We are at the flea market. Still a little chilly. Glad I wore a jacket. We've got our cart. Easy wheels. We'll see how easy this is. I don't like a cart at the flea market. I'd rather run back and forth to the car, but we'll try it. I've tried it before and when it gets crowded here, it's very hard to navigate around people. Oh, we have duck planters. Those are kind of nice. I don't know how easily they would sell. I should have wore a jacket. Everybody's wearing jackets. I'm like, oh, it's going to be 75 degrees. Oh, that's cute. It's all about meow. Gunned gifts. That's adorable. Two dollars. Even though this basket doesn't seem to be, you know, anybody of note, that's a very cute shape. I kind of like that. Two dollars. I might pick that up. Let's take the, the little mitten out of here. I don't know where these are sold, but boy, are those cute. Yeah, I like this. All right, I've been calling my favorite vendor, Betty. She's not Betty, she's Brenda. So come shop at Brenda. She is the first person on the left when you come into the main part of the flea market. This is a lichen, I believe. They grow on trees, like a shelf. Cute little bowls. I always love a little bowl. Look how sweet that is. Two dollars. I'll call you Uber. Name again? No. No. Uh, I'm going home. <laughs> okay, this is Betty. This is Brenda. I switched it. At least I have some defense. Oh my word. Little flying seagulls. I don't know what those are from. Huh. I thought maybe they were a wall hanging, but they have little holes in the back. Maybe they attach onto something. There's a print here. It's kind of pretty. All right. Do we love a good chicken? Yes, we do. Is it a chicken? It is, right? Oh, he's beautiful. Who's making him? Nobody. I really like him. Blue does not do well for me. Blue china? I mean, unless it's something really high end, but basically I don't do well with blue. Where'd my husband get off to? <laughs> I thought you, you went on without me. No. What's that? Oh, these little boxes with oh a puzzle box. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Nine dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Let's watch and see if he can do it. Somewhere the key. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I never know how to do those. And then you can keep stuff inside. Oh, velvet lined. I've never seen it lined before. All right. We got to pick up the pace. All right, let's scoot over to this side and see what goodies are on this table. Cloisonne bowl with a peacock. That's lovely. It's a lot of this made in India. All this good vintage stuff. No more baskets for now. I am overloaded with baskets. I'm gonna put my bag in the cart. I'm so used to carrying bags. Shiny brights. Is this a wall pocket? Oh, it is. That's lovely. How much for you? Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. How much for your wall pocket? I do 10 on it. 10, that's nice. I really like that. 
pottery, 1995 hand carved porcelain. This is lovely. I don't know anything about this. I've never seen this. It does have crazing in the glaze, unfortunately, but that is a really nice aesthetic. It's marked 45. I'm going to have to look that up. That is kind of cool. We got another piece here. I like this one, 15. It's got like a little frog crawling up it. This is like Tonala. So 15 is a fair, a fair price for a collector. Oh, Cypress Knees. Okay, that's a nice one. And that's a planter. I think it's a planter. I don't think that's for a base of a lamp. That's kind of cool. I always like this. Good morning. That's five. $5? That's kind of cool. I always love cypress knees. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this one. See what else you got. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Look at this iron thing. I have a very hard time selling iron for some reason. I mean, a few pieces move quickly, but decorative ones, not so much. Oh, you bought games. What'd you get? Masterpiece and dealer's choice. I've never heard of Dealer's Choice, have yeah, you? I've sold a couple of these. You have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've sold about 50 of these. Yeah, that looks like an old one. Yeah. What'd you pay for them? Five each. Okay, is that good? Oh, yeah, real good. Oh, good. This piece of pottery, Francoma, I don't know a lot about it, but I can spot most Francoma from far away. It has a very distinctive look. Don't know if that's a crack. Oh, signed on the bottom. I think Francoma is always signed. The vendor is saying she thinks it's a lidless cookie jar. I'm going to have to Google image that. She wants $8 for it. I don't think Francoma the smooth like this is, um, you know, worth a lot. Let's go around this way and see what else she has. Ceiling light, mid-century modern. Some bird dishes. Nope, oh, that's a trip hazard. <laughs> Just waiting to happen. And I'd be the person to trip on it. The one dollar each table. Lots of jewelry. If you have a lot of time on your hands, it is fun to dig. Look at those clip-on earrings somebody made. Wow. Wow, wow. Black and white pigs back there. You don't see too many black and white pigs. Most of them are pink. It's a mama and a baby. They're made out of resin. A leather belt. I love belts. I've been selling a lot of the belts that I won at Bolt's auction. I'll try to insert screenshots here so you can see what kind of prices uh, the belts I picked up are bringing. I think I paid 120 for the lot and there were 13 or 14 belts. This one, leather belt with rattlesnake. That is very cool. $48. And a Smurf rattlesnake on the back too. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Oh, the Pendleton box is nice. I have never seen that. What did they want for that? 250 Okay, I've lost my husband altogether. He's way down there. Primitive style has never really appealed to me until recently. I must be getting old. I must be getting primitive. Just the... um. I don't know, the dry finish and the real simple form to things. Oh, this painting is lovely. That is gorgeous. Staying away from artwork. Lots of Crocs today. I like this sheep picture. A little bit of moisture damage. It's a shame artwork is out in the wet. Are these hand done, Barbara? What happened to that cat's head? That is very different. Barbara Irwin. Oh, she did all of these. These are all hand done. Sheep. Sheep and more sheep. wonder if Barbara was a sheep farmer. There's a rabbit. Oh, it's all of her artwork. There's a little cat here. They are kind of cute. How much for your framed little 
animals. Ten to thirty-five each. Okay. All depends on size and subject. Very folk art, primitive. She's from Texas. Thirty-five. Okay, this is a vendor that I always love his items. He has fair pricing, great aesthetic. Look at this trunk, 15 bucks. Too bad I don't need a big trunk. You know me, trying to stay away from the big things is always the challenge. Oh, look at the pottery. He does little succulents in these pots. That is so sweet. This one's like a brass. This looks like Italian pottery, maybe. Beautiful. Made in Italy. That is sweet. Let's see if I can gently set it back down without breaking everything. This plate is lovely. $12. I always like these dishes. They don't really bring a lot of money, but they're so romantic and sweet. quite the basket. This would be lovely with plants. $22. Older market basket. Really? Is that a market basket? Wouldn't that be nice with plants coming out of it? I do like that. Okay. Not seeing anything that I can't live without. Lots of artwork. Oh, I see a bowl I like. Wow, that's pretty. $30 redware dish with irises. That is sweet. Redwood Ranch Pottery, Stevens, PA, 2003. Oh, I know where Stevens is. That's not that far from me. That is lovely. All right, I've lost Roger altogether. <gasps> Let's go hunt for Roger. Okay, now the weather's starting to... Oh, I just said, let's go hunt for you. I said, I thought I lost you. Oh, you're getting stuff. Yeah. Model. It's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Die Ferrari. Cast. Oh, that's nice. A die cast. It's a metal sunken one. in a little bit here. What'd you that's get for it. that? What, what'd you 20. pay for that? 20 Okay. He said he has more than that into it, which I believe him. Yeah. Oh, I would imagine. A box of looks to be buyer's choice dolls. Yep, there they are there, the carolers. Oh, nice face. Look at the gingerbread. He's got a whole box of them. Look at that. We'd have to go through them all. Okay, these are kind of cool. Kind of dusty, though. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give a bargain on that. I had a lady that she used to work in a place that she sold them. Really? So she's going to be back, she said. I said, well, I know how that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is only a portion of what I got. They're in rough condition. I don't know why somebody would, you know, not take better care of them. Well, it, you know, after a while, you probably get tired of it. You know, you, yeah, you don't, yeah. It's only a Christmas decoration. Yeah, when true. You think about it. Yep, you're so right. You pull it out for what? A week, two weeks out of the year? This one's newer, I think. My look a lot right of those are probably date. discontinued or what they call retired. So. Where are you guys from? Just right here, local. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you go down, you know where the Heidelberg restaurant's at on 422? Mm -hmm. There's a barn. Okay, I'm looking you for dates the on these. I don't That's see that. dates. The smoother faces are newer, I think. So leave a comment down below if you have knowledge about the Buyer's Choice dolls. <laughs> I don't know much about them, but I think the faces, yeah, when they're smooth, are newer. The and then when they have more, have I'm going to call it dimpling. That's not the right uh, word. But these are in kind of rough shape. Yeah. I don't think collectors, yeah, their clothing needs to be washed. If you resell, like I say again. Oh, that's a cool like face. Fellow vendors. 96. Box, you can't them out. What? Yeah. But this is, I've never seen this. 
Johnny Toymaker starter set includes all this. Make your own car. I've never what? Seen that. Look at the die cast metal uh, plates. Remember how hot these used to get? Mm -hmm. Remember the little tool that you squeeze together and you put in the in the end hole and you lifted up the, the thing out of the burning the burning little oven there? Oh yeah. Sixty four. Yeah, that's probably the ones we had. We used to sell these in school. Like you made the rubber bugs. Wow. This is like a mixed set. Oh, here they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember what they smelled like, that stuff <laughs> cooking? Yeah. Oh, here's the tool yeah. I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, this one's different. This one you just, ours, you had to squeeze it together. That is cool. Yeah. Memories. Oh, they're cool. All right, so the vendor has this row pottery marked $25. A few different potter houses i always call them pottery houses or potter houses companies and he said he'll do 10 a pot so which ones would we take one i do like this pattern here too make sure they're in good condition who's making this one this looks different to me but it has the same marking i don't see the stamp on this one it just says bbp i don't know what that means What's this picture here? Mm, not my favorite. LaSalle College High School. All right, this is a more modern piece. We have like a cookie jar here. All right, so far I like the two crocs there. What is this one here? Yeah, like a cookie jar. BBP again. $20. That one's not bad. I don't see a marking on it, though. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Somebody just made it? Seems like they were very good at it. So this one, yeah, is probably my favorite. I think I'm going to go for these two. So $10 a piece, $20 for the two, I think is good. Oh, this chicken's very fun. Look at that. I don't think this is especially old. Hand painted sign, Aileen, 1991. Good job, Aileen. Very Mexican folk art looking. Hey, how are you? Always filming. Primitives by Kathy. That's a nice set of um, salad service ware. You're not doing anything tonight. We have a car show going on. Do you? Four to seven. Four to seven here? Yeah. Okay. The, we're at, basically, where all the vendors are will be uh, cars. What kind of cars? Vintage. Vintage. All the trucks and the Jeeps will be back in ah. this area. Maybe we'll take a mosey down. Thanks. Thanks for the invite. Enjoy today. Thanks, you too. All right, I love English Staffordshire. Calico, Staffordshire, England. Look how pretty that is. Five dollars. Okay, I can't just buy it because it's pretty. It's got to have good comps. All right, I lost my husband once again. Where did he go? He's looking at toys. The man is a toy seller. Just admit it. <laughs> What's that? I think my uncle used to have a set like this. What is this? Classic 500 by Marks. I thought they were bigger cars, but maybe it's because I was young. <laughs> <laughs> you were I little. I thought they were like that. <laughs> That's funny when you're little. You think everything is big. Yeah. I remember going back to my elementary school when I was an adult. I needed some kind of record. And I went to get a drink out of the water fountain. I almost had to kneel down. And I remember standing <laughs> on my tiptoes to get a drink. That is so funny. There's a blow mold. Let's come around and take a look at Santa. Okay. Not one of the better ones. All right, just looking at how much is a race car? 65. Oh, Griswold pants. We love Griswold. If you ever find these, buy them. These do really well for us. And they made it right here in Erie, Pennsylvania. 
Griswold is the pan. Now condition does matter with these. This one's in fairly good condition. And people always ask if these rock on the stove. So you really have to have a flat surface when you're buying them to see. This one's got a little bit of a rock to it. See that? I guess as the iron gets heated time and time again, uh, it will actually warp a little bit. This is a little bit better. He's oiled these. You can see there's a little bit of pitting in it. Still, Griswold is a great name. Little carved gnome dwarf guy. That's kind of cool. Baskets are a dollar. So this wall pocket basket, I like that for plants. We're gonna go ahead and take those two. And now I'm seeing this ephemera. I don't know what these were originally used for. Reprinted from Madame Tussaud London Collection. Kind of cool. I don't know what he's asking for these. Probably be sitting on these for a long time. It's a box of it. Oh, dolls. Those are uh, calendars. Yeah. I think scrap art people would like these, but I'd only pay a couple of pennies a piece for these. Oh, here's some stamps. Is that what's going to make me rich? I don't know. Let's see what he wants for all of this. I really don't want the doll, the doll magazines or the doll uh, calendars. Thank you. All right, so this is my favorite place to get food. This is looking for their sign. I've lost it. Thank you. All right, this is my favorite place to get food. This is the Greek place. And I always get the Avgo Lemono soup. They have salads that you have to order through Facebook. You have to go on their Facebook and order salads. They have quiche, they have pasticcio, spinach lasagna, really, really good. I've showed you this place before. Moussaka is excellent here. All right, so I got a quarter of the soup and we had egg sandwiches this morning. The place gets crowded. This is Roots Market inside the farmer's market. All right, the place is jumping. Okay, so here is the name of the place, Simply Greek, Roots Market. See all of these salads? These are all pre-sold. That's how good this place is. People call in their orders. All right, guys, definitely check out the farmer's market. <laughs> Lots of bakery items, really good food. All right, it's a pretty small haul today, but we had a really good time. We wound up eating egg sandwiches and we both bought uh, food for dinner tonight. I got this wicker basket. It's a wall pocket, probably going to put this in the booth, I would think. I don't think it would do especially well on eBay, but for a dollar, I grabbed it. Roger got some toys. He got the dealer's choice, which we showed you, the masterpiece art auction game, and this Ferrari um, diecast metal kit. Really cool. How much do these go for on eBay? Did you look that up? Um, I don't. I didn't see sold ones yet, but I think okay. probably at least fifty or sixty. And what did you pay? Twenty. Okay, that's and really good. Uh, the masterpiece was five. The dealer's choice was five. Dealer's choice isn't as good as the masterpiece. Really? I, I feel sell. like masterpiece I see all the time. Yeah, I sell these. I, I, I'll get forty dollars. What? Yeah. For masterpiece, yeah. does it go by the year? Uh, there's three different. There's a 70. This is a 1970, which is the better one. Okay. Then there's a 96, and I think a 2008. Wow. Yeah, the 70s. They they, they bring about 1970 like or 19. anything, anything in the 70s. Like what is the exact year that we're looking? 1970. Okay. That is a 19, oh, that's very cool. Very cool. Here's the sold for the masterpiece. Best offer 100, that was new. At 95, best offer 69, 79, 79, 99. 94, 99. Or 94, 99. Is it, is it in new condition? It's just in good condition? Yeah, three, $95. Three dollars. These are consistently bringing good money. 70. 70. Wow, babe, I had no idea. All right, guys, so look for Masterpiece Box Game 1970. Try to get it in good condition. All right, guys, I picked up the Cypress Knees uh, planter. 
I'm almost tempted to keep that. There's only a few things that I'm tempted to keep, and sometimes things just, I don't know, resonate with me. I did um, choose these two pieces of pottery. I got both for $10 each. So I got the bird one and the floral one. Just this little wall basket. This is nothing of note, but for two bucks, I don't know. Sometimes I like to support the vendors too. I like this, I'm gonna call it a gazelle. It's not a gazelle, um, but it's because it's a wall hanging. So I thought that was really neat. And we did get the little hand carved garden gnome and this little tiny tile. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that, but for a dollar, I took it. All right, that's the haul for today. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Okay, so I'm sure you can tell where we are. And truth be told, I was going to strap on the chest mount for the GoPro, but I just couldn't. <laughs> so we're kind of doing a balancing act. Will the basket stay on? That is the question. All right, today is Monday. I did try to do a little bit thrifting this morning, but the thrift stores were not good. So I figured, oh, I have stuff to bring to the booth. I will show you guys what I'm bringing. Now, most of this you're gonna recognize from thrifting with me. Whoop. See if I can make it. And I'm just gonna restock the booth and you guys can watch me do that. All right, hopefully this angle is good. Two hands, I've got the chest mount on. I don't use the chest mount for the GoPro often because when I'm in a thrift store, I need to control the angle a little bit more because of the amount of people. But today it's not too many people in the antique center, so that is good. I can just strap this on and face my body towards the booth. All right. Now, Roger and I do film every time we come here so that we can see what has sold and what, um, you know, has been here from the time before. Sometimes you can tell by the amount of spaces, like here. I couldn't tell you what was here, but I know something was here. All right, hopefully we'll be able to get most of this, if not all of this, in. Now, everything is cleaned and detagged. These are the baskets that I want at the auction. In, um, in bolts auction. So I'm just gonna place these around. We don't have a lot of table space. We have two little tables, but I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it because I have a Facebook marketplace pick up in a little while. Uh, somebody is buying the mid-century modern lane table that I got at the auction house. So that is really good. That sold for, I think, $100. So I have to be out of here fairly soon. Just looking for what I can switch around. I think I'm going to take this down and maybe put this straight and just put baskets along the walkway. We'll see how that works out. Hopefully this camera angle is okay. I'm going to grab these two trees if I can get these out without knocking everything over. Ah, stay. Don't go anywhere. All right, well, that balance. Let's grab these trees. These are the trees that I picked up at Shillington uh, Goodwill probably about a week ago, but I was on a road trip down to West Virginia. So I'm a little behind with getting things listed and photographing, but I'll catch up. I always do. All right, let's see if we can just place this here. I'm always playing Jenga. I have these two candle holders. Where shall I put these? Not quite sure. Sometimes I bring everything into the booth and then see what it looks like. I think this had another pan on top of it, and I'm pretty sure that's sold. So we're going to move the metal down this way. And we could just fill this space in here. All right, what else shall I do? I think I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put the trees on the bottom because they're plastic, and they're not so likely to break if they get knocked into. We'll put those there and it leaves a space right there for something to go between them. I'm really not sure how this camera angle is. You can't see the back of the camera when it's strapped to you. Another reason I'm not really big on the chest mount for the GoPro, but 
All right, I have a large platter that goes with those candlesticks. I'm not selling them together. I've priced them separately, but I think I'm gonna put them together in case somebody wants them. Um, running out of wall space. I think I'll take this down. I have a picture that I've brought in. Sometimes I just prop pictures up. I could put one on that shelf if I wanted to. Hmm. We also have a big space there, something sold. Maybe I will balance that there. Take these out. Yeah, that's not good. All right, real life problems. Oh, you know what? I just remembered, I think something sold, it did. We can pop this guy right here. That's great. I have the Gardener's Eden tumblers and this large encrusted platter. Maybe we'll put that here and put the candlesticks on top of it. I don't know if two will fit. Hmm, that looks a little bit like it could be knocked into. Okay, those are gonna go there. I'm not quite sure where to put. I don't like this charger here, but maybe if I balance it, let's see how I feel about that. There is a line in this table. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Will that balance? Oh, that seems pretty good. Okay, let's try. Okay, which leaves a space on the wall for this. Um, what could I switch around? Not quite sure. If I put this here, when somebody goes to take that charger, it's going to hit into it. So maybe I can put the bird picture up here. Let's see how far down that hangs. Hmm, I'll think about that. But this one can now go over here. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that bird picture there. That's making me a little bit nervous. I think maybe one of these can come over here. Let's see if that works. Sorry, it's such riveting footage. <laughs> All right, let's see if this will. I think that's better. It's still a little bit in front of it, but this is a very lightweight picture. And that way I'll put the bird print, which is a little bit heavier right there. We should be okay with that. Straighten out this mirror. Looks like my camera is crooked. You guys are gonna have crooked footage. Yeah, my chest mount is crooked. All right, I don't know if we're gonna be able to straighten out the footage. We shall see if this even makes it into a video. Okay, we can put that right there. Let's see, what else do we have? So we have some baskets. Um, and lamps. Maybe I will take this lovely luminary lantern and put that in front. Okay, there's our, our angel with the crooked wings. Next time I come, I'll probably bring a little nail to fix that. I just haven't had time. Hand-painted birdhouse. Where can I put this? I think I'm gonna switch this. Let's see if this fits here. That's not gonna fit there now. Let's see if we can put this on the shelf. We have a scoop. Yeah, unfortunately this scoop needs a smaller nail and all of the nail heads on these walls have bigger heads to them, so this actually doesn't fit on one of them. Maybe I can prop it up somewhere. Oh, I see a space down there. I couldn't tell you what sold. All right, we're just gonna prop that there. Oh, it's looking a little disheveled. I still have another picture here I need to put somewhere. And we have a lot more to bring in. We're gonna take the two gold lamps. 
think this is caught on this. There we go. And where can I put these lamps? I think I'm gonna put them, oh, they have to have room for the shades. I might put them right on this hamper. Yeah, that looks good. I think we need a bigger booth. I think that's the, the problem with all of this. We have a lot of big things. So we got the booth so we don't have to ship big things. But then, unless you have a really big booth, yeah, it's, you know, you're trying to figure out how to put a lot of big things in a small booth. We're figuring it all out, little by little. Roger had to deliver cabinetry, um, I believe, in either New Jersey or... Where was he going? Maryland, maybe. So he's not with me right now. I think we'll be flea marketing together tomorrow, so that is fun. Okay, here is this lamp. You know, I'd really like the lamps on this table. I might have to switch everything around. Yeah, I think that's prettier. All right, Miss Angel, where are we putting you? We're gonna move this angel somewhere, maybe on the floor. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that there. We're going to move all of this business down, and then we'll put another lamp here. <laughs> that's a little precarious, but I'm not going to worry about it. It is what it is. All right, this lantern might have to move too, but we're going to put the other lamp here. What did I do with the other lamp? Oh, yeah, it's on the hamper. Okay, now we'll put another shade here. Look at that, my nails are even gold. <laughs> oh, my nails are a wreck. Today was a very busy day, very busy. And tomorrow will be a full day too. All right, taking the other shade. I'm selling the lamps as a set. I don't know if that's always good to do in case somebody wanted one lamp, but I feel that some things just sell better as pairs. I have sold pairs of lamps in the booth before. Okay, that's not bad, we'll go with that. Got some Carolina sweet grass baskets here. I might just put those up here now. It's not the best situation for displaying things, but we will just keep going, just keep doing it. It'll come to me. Sometimes at the very end, I switch everything around. Hmm. I wonder if I can reach up there to put this up there. Okay, where is this guy going? Put that right there. Oh, you know, the top shelf is really nice for baskets. Maybe if I take that painting down and put another basket up there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where would I put these lamps, though? Do I want to do that? Well, I'm going to give that thought. That basket's good up there. All right, so I have a few more pieces. I have this wire fruit and vegetable tiered basket. We have a few stands down here, and we have some up here. I might put all the stands together. So let's take this big, I've had this piece forever. It's not a, it's not a hot seller. <laughs> let's switch this out here. Let's take this magazine stand. seems better, maybe. And I have this little stool now, which kind of goes better with this. Up, oh, I've lost, oh, what did this come from? Sloan sign, that is up there. That's what's good about having price tags with the name of everything, that if a price tag falls off, you know what it goes to. All right, Roger's um, eggs did not sell, which we were very surprised at. They are priced a little bit higher because they're rare. Hmm, 
where am I going to put this sign? I think I'm just going to have to prop it like against a wall. There we go. All right, what do I have left? I have the bed tray and the heart basket. I wish I had a nail to put this on because this would actually hang on the wall, but I don't see a nail that would hold this with that little nail. I don't think that nail is far enough out and I did not bring, it's really a screw, I did not bring tools with me today because it was a crazy day. I'm a crazy person today. Hmm. All right, guys, where am I putting this? I don't know. I'm going to put it right there. All right, bed tray and the mixer. Let's put this bed tray here. I'm going to take down Roger's jerseys from this area. Maybe we can put them up this way. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave them there for now. I don't think that's bad because anybody coming in to reach for stuff, even though the floor is getting a little bit crowded, you can still reach for everything okay. The only thing that's a little precarious right now are the two lamps. These are Ethan Allen and it's the wrong item for this booth. I wanted 175 for the pair because they're really high-end lamps, but I don't think those are gonna sell in the booth, but I figure we'll give it a try. It's always good to try. All right, so we just have the KitchenAid left, and I'm thinking the KitchenAid should kind of go down here. So I'm gonna pull this bowl, and we'll put that over here. And we'll take this lamp and just bring it down to the floor. And I think I'm going to put the KitchenAid right there. Let's see if I can do that. You know what? I'm going to move this so I'm not having to reach over that. I'll put this back after I'm done. It's a very heavy mixer. KitchenAids are always really heavy, aren't they? I have one. I absolutely love it. I use it a lot. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, let's bring the bed tray back in. The breakfast tray. We'll put that back over here. Just this basket's not, not doing anything. I'm not crazy about this basket being here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it because I really don't have time today to rearrange everything to fit a big basket. All right, so that is what it's looking like. Fairly happy with that. Little congested at the end. I could fit a few more things on this shelf over here. We used to have a lot of mugs here. They all sold. So I'm wondering if I put these someplace else. I can just put them here. I have room for something there. All right, so in the last few minutes, I switched things around. Kind of happy with this final product. I never have enough time. Be very nice just to stay here and curate things and put up different nails in the walls. But yeah, I don't have that kind of time at this point. Maybe one day I will. So it's a good place to put things that we don't want to ship and we're enjoying selling here. All right, so if you're interested in anything, none of these items are ship. They are just pick up, purchase and pick up in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania down the rabbit hole, old factory antiques.